We have just finished our seventh grade year and today I want to talk about math. How did math go this year? Well, first of all, we switched math. Before this year, we had been utilizing Singapore Dimensions. We'd used it for years. I love Singapore Dimensions. I actually have quite a few videos on it if you want to find out more information about Singapore Dimensions in Upper Elementary. I'll make sure to link that playlist down below. We originally switched to the of problem solving pre-algebra and I do have a couple of videos where I talk about uh, in depth why we made the switch from Singapore Dimensions and then oh, very quickly uh, we determined that the art of problem solving was not for us. Um, it just did not provide enough information. It wanted more of a critical thinking of if you have a problem and you don't know exactly how to do it, they wanted much more of a critical thinking and we just aren't there yet. We finally ended up using the pre-algebra from BJU Press. Now this algebra program was updated. So this is the first year that the new pre-algebra program was out. With this pre-algebra program, you have two of the teacher's manuals along with the student book. Then you have a student activity book and the activity manual for the teacher. And then there are also their tests and quizzes um, and the answer keys for that. I do have a flip through of this BJU pre-algebra program and I'll make sure that I link that down below. So let's chat about our initial thoughts of it. Well, first of all, there's a lot. That is one of my initial thoughts is there is a lot of information in this pre-algebra program. And that is very good and maybe not so good. But the good thing about all of the information that is included in it is you can pick and choose where your child is. Where is your child? What do you need? And it's going to be there. Um, and I'm really just talking about the print pieces, not even talking about all of the information that they have online. So for example, you see this QR code. If you need um, after school help, they have these QR codes that are available throughout for almost any lesson. I mean, there are so many of them. So they do offer quite a bit of online resources that is helpful. I also love the way BJU sets up for their, um, their lesson plans. So this just worked out really well where it shows what your pages are and then you go day by day down through the lesson plans. And then you can see that whenever there's more than one day, it will tell you on here. So normally towards the end when there's an assessment, it's more than one day. There are a few individual lessons that are supposed to be more than one day and they tell you that in these lesson plans. So it is very easy to follow the lesson plans. I really liked that about this BJU curriculum so easy to follow the lesson plans. Also, every lesson has a cumulative review that is normally between 10 and 15 problems. This one's from problem 41 to 50, but it's just a review of what you have been doing thus far. It's that great, easy, very quick reminder of how to do different concepts and if you notice that your student is not doing well on a specific concept in this cumulative review then obviously this gives you the opportunity to go back and review that concept again. So I really do like this cumulative review, the spiral that BJU pre-algebra has. For the most part I like the way that the lessons were set up in giving the definitions and giving the reasons why and things like that. Um, I think with math, understanding the why is really important because it makes it more relevant. If your child doesn't understand why they're learning this, then what's the purpose? What is the reason in keeping it in your brain if you don't understand why or where you're going to need it? So I did like, for the most part, I think that they did a good job of relating it, relating the math concepts to understanding why you need to understand them, why you need to know them. This activities book was 
amazing. So in the activities book, they do have extra materials, extra information that you may need. But one of my favorite things about the activities book is teaching how to use scientific calculators. So there are calculator skills sections in the activities book and it truly teaches you how to utilize a scientific calculator in a very basic way. But of course, as we go um, into higher math, we will have to use that scientific calculator more and be familiar with it. And so I really did like that in the activities book, there were great scientific calculator um, exercises. Something else that the activities book included are the STEM projects. So this is your power from your potato. Um, there, there were just different STEM projects that could be util that could be worked on. We ended up not doing all of those STEM projects, but my daughter did say that she did, wants to work on them over the summer. So that is very exciting. Um, excited that she saw the value in these STEM projects and wants to work on them. Now, what did we not like about this VJU pre-algebra? Well, first of all, there are a lot of problems on the page. And when, when I say a lot, I really mean a lot. It was so common for there to be 30, 40, 50 problems, not counting the cumulative review for each of these lessons. And that would just be too much to do every day after sitting through the lesson. But what they did, which I really am thankful for and appreciative of, is they have under apply for each lesson, it will tell you the minimum assignment, the standard assignment, and the extended assignment. So if your child is catching on to these concepts, assign them the minimum assignment, which is normally about half of the problems. Um, the you normally have the odd ones. That's just kind of where they land, but not always. And then they also, if your child is having a little bit of, um, needs a little bit more help, then obviously they have more help. And in this activity book, if you need more help, there is um, just a ton of help in this activity book. They do reviews, they do extra problems. So there's a lot of information there. If you are interested in knowing what we are going to do next year for math, please make sure you are subscribed because those curriculum picks are coming out shortly. The second thing that I was not overly keen on with regards to this was that sometimes there was just not enough explanation. There was not enough um, of that why do I need to know this because we're getting into you know more difficult concepts and I at first the first time that it happened I thought well maybe I missed something and I went back and it wasn't there now um, fortunately there were only two or three lessons that I really thought they did not put enough information into the why for those lessons. And it was no problem for me to be able to just go to math antics or something like that to get videos. Now there are videos that I could have gone to BJU for that, um, but I just chose to go ahead and look at math antics for it off of YouTube. One of the other things that um, I was not really keen on is the number of tests they have. So every few lessons there is a quiz. At the end of every chapter you have a test. At the end of every three chapters you have a, an exam. So there are quite a few testing days and that is something that we just, it just got a little bit overwhelming to do those tests and quizzes and exams <laughs> and so the um we didn't always do that last exam for the three chapters if my daughter had done really well on the the three chapter tests then i did not feel the need for her to have that exam there's so much information with this curriculum i really think that you need to um be at the point where you're confident in being able to say, we don't have to do this, <laughs> you know, to be able to do that. Because if you did every single 
um, problem, every single activity, every single page in the activity sheet, it would just be extremely overwhelming. And that truly is not how this BJU curriculum was designed. They don't want you to do every single problem because they understand that it is too overwhelming. Now I brought in very few supplements for this um, most everything was in the textbook or the activity. There obviously were additional uh, supplies that you needed for some of those activities, which included the, ca the scientific calculator or the things for the different STEM activities. What I did use um, is this geometric solids that we already had when we were learning about our different shapes. I liked this a lot because when we are doing um, things such as volume, then I can take this cylinder and this cone and you can we can measure and see that they're uh, the same size for the um, circumference of the circles for the cone as well as the cylinder and so we could fill one of fill this up with rice dump it into the cylinder to be able to determine you know what is the relationship between these two when your circumference of your circle is the same and so I did like these for that hands-on experiences and then when we were doing things like surface area we talked about how you can't just use your height of your square pyramid but you need really the slant height for your height for your triangles when you're doing surface area so these these were great manipulatives for us to utilize when we were doing these concepts. Also, I brought out my handy dandy um, discs for place value. We didn't use them so much for place value, but more for different colors and different and proportions, ratios, probability, and I used this for this as well. And then we also did quite a bit with dice in um, multiplication and in squaring square roots and different things like that estimating and so I really only brought in the those three things the dice the geometric solids and then my discs when we were talking about the different concepts I have thumbs up and thumbs down for BJU pre-algebra overall I would give it a thumbs up I'm really glad that we chose to use BJU pre-algebra for my daughter's seventh grade year. It was a great choice for us. Please keep in mind that we did not use the BJU's videos. This was a teacher-led experience and therefore a teacher-led review for pre-algebra from BJU.